historical sources of financing like the NIH are under budget constraints, which increases the need for private philanthropists, if you will, to step up to the plate and ensure that great innovation is appropriately financed. I see philanthropy in medical research as uh, conferring huge leverage to the philanthropist. Because essentially what it does is it invests in intellectual capital that has the promise of really changing the game. I've always believed that institutions of excellence have a responsibility to lead. This collaboration between three great institutions of excellence is the next step in that process of bringing together the best of what each knows for the progress of the science. Drug companies typically won't fund ideas because of the high risk uh, they involve until they've reached the point where they're ready for human trials. Typically, the U.S. government through the NIH has not funded such research. And although in the past, venture capitalists had funded high-risk ventures such as this, that has become increasingly difficult to obtain. And therefore, to bridge this gap between the idea and the drug in the human being, we have had to rely increasingly on philanthropic sources of funding. I think TRI-TDI is going to be attractive to individuals who want to make a, a special difference. Whether you care about Wild Cornell or you care about um, better medical care or you care about economic health of the United States, there's a lot to accomplish by improving this, this connection. All three of our institutions are truly blessed with an enormous support from our donors uh, who are incredibly generous but also incredibly visionary. So we really benefit greatly from having not only their financial generosity but their oversight, their guidance and their willingness to consider major new initiatives like this. So the Tri-Institutional Therapeutics Discovery Institute predates me. Indeed, it, it, it's an idea whose genesis, I think, is attributable to three key people in each of the institutions. Carl Nathan at Weill Cornell, David Scheinberg at Sloan Kettering, and Barry Kohler at Rockefeller University. They deserve the credit. While I'm not uh, in the business of giving advice to other philanthropists, I certainly can recommend this kind of initiative because it has multiple benefits. The first benefit is increasing human knowledge, which tends to come in handy. Additionally, it has the possibility of that knowledge leading to new life-saving cures, which is as worthwhile as anything a philanthropist could support. And lastly, you never know, maybe the discovery that's made from your resources could end up saving someone you know or a family member, but it will be a member of the human race and we're all connected. <laughs>